What's up guys, it's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys the most common used shortcuts and these shortcuts will be on a Mac because I'm using Photoshop for my Mac. Um, and this works pretty much the same thing like on, on Windows PC, um, except the controls are a little bit different uh, on or the keys are a little bit different. So command would be control on a PC um, option on a Mac would be Alt on a PC. Delete on the keyboard for a Mac would be Backspace. And um, you get the idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys because this really will come in handy when you're you know making Photoshop and editing and stuff within Photoshop. So this these shortcuts will really help you um, make quick uh, actions for your uh, images so you can work a little bit better in the work work area so first um, you can open up an image very quickly by just double clicking on the anywhere in the empty area right here and that will just bring up the little window where you could open images instead of going over to file and then open you could also go and press command O and that will open up a window where you could open up your images in this case, I'm going to be selecting this one right here, the skyscraper, and just click OK. So um, here it is. Press Command-0. So Command-0 is, I think, the th second one. Um, and uh, so, yeah, this will just fill up the whole entire image to your canvas. So if I hold down Command, again, guys, for, your P for you PC users, Command is Control on a PC, and then Plus will make it bigger. So we'll zoom in to the image and by pressing command minus that will zoom out of the image. So that is a great feature. Now if you're really zoomed in and you want to move around, you could use the scroll wheel on your mouse um, or you could just use this right here. Or a more convenient way is by holding the space bar and this will allow you to drag and move. So you just have to click and drag and uh, release on the left mouse. So that will allow you to easily move uh, around the image without using the little horizontal and vertical bars. So if you want to make it full screen on the canvas, press Command O and that will fill it up. All right. So let's say you're using um, like this tool right here. If you click and hold, that will allow you to quickly select any of these. If you just click it, it won't do anything. You have to click and hold to see the other ones. Um, so let me go right here. So here is our lasso tool, our polygonal lasso tool, and our magnetic lasso tool. Um, <laughs> if you press L on your keyboard, so if I was on the on the crop tool right here and I press L, it will just go back to what I've selected. But if I want to select something else, um, you have to hold down. So our shortcut is L. So that's the shortcut. So if I hold down L and then, um, what is it, plus? Oops. Oh, what I do? I didn't want to make it full screen. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I, have, I pressed F and accidentally. Okay, hold on. Let me zoom out. Okay, there we go. Um, there is a shortcut to ease, to switch between these, and I just don't remember what it is, but you can figure that you can figure that out. I'll post it in the description if I figure it out. So the next one is the brush tool. So if I go to the brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard. Again, if you want to... Um, you know, easily switch between your uh, brushes or any of the tools on the tools palette. If you click and hold, it will tell you what, uh, you know, what what letter to press on the keyboard. That will switch it. So in, in this case, the brush tool is B and the eyedropper tool is I. So that kind of makes sense, right? So if I press B on the keyboard, you can see if I right click, the size is at three, right? And by right clicking, you can have quick access to this uh, right here. It's pretty much the quick way of doing it. But I don't really, eh, it's all right. Um, so if you hold down, uh, what is it, control option, and you click and drag your mouse left and right, so that is horizontally, it will make the brush size bigger. Um, and if you drag up and down, that will increase or decrease the hardness. So I've been, if I move it up, it will uh, decrease the hardness. If I move it down, it will decrease the hardness. Now this really depends on your mouse how you have it set up. If you have it set up differently like if you have it going up is down 
then it's gonna it's gonna I don't want to confuse you guys but you get the idea of you know when you use a scroll wheel which way does do you want to move the page up or down if that makes any sense um, so yeah so this is really cool if I you can just start painting on the canvas right here so if I want to quickly uh, change the brush size I can just press control and option or control alt uh, on a PC and click and drag this will easily make your bu uh, brush size smaller so this is really cool and then I don't know you can start painting and stuff um, so another tool is by pressing Z on your keyboard this will bring you to the zoom tool so it's a little bit familiar like I told you before if you press command plus this will allow you to zoom in to the image if you press command minus this will uh, zoom out you could also just click and drag to a area and that will um, zoom in now if I make a huge selection it will only zoom in a little bit if I make it a little like a little box it will zoom in a lot <laughs> the thing is you can't zoom out um, or actually you can you have to hold down option or alt on a PC and same thing if you hold on option or alt and you click and drag or you just yeah you just click I think you can just click outwards so that is pretty pretty cool um, so if I were to zoom in really quick whoops pressing the wrong button here and I click and drag right and then I could easily just click and drag outwards or I can just move it outwards like that I don't know that is a cool little feature um, so again that keep that goes along with the most common shortcuts um, so another one is if I go over to the brush tool again because a lot of people will use a brush tool if you push the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard so the left bracket key will look similar it's I think on top of the quotation marks on your Mac keyboard I don't know how it is on a PC I haven't used a PC in a long time except school <laughs> but if you you know if you hold down uh, the left bracket key it will make it smaller if you hold down the right bracket key it will make it uh, bigger so this is a little quicker way of doing it but you really can't see your brush size so if you hold down control and option you could actually see what the diameter is which is really cool um what else what else I was gonna show you another thing oh yeah so if you create a new layer and there is a quick way of doing a new layer is by pressing shift command n so instead of going down here and clicking it which would be pretty much easier but if you want a shortcut hold down shift command n or shift control n and that will make a new layer but this will actually bring you a new window where it says it gives you a name and it will just give you a lot of these uh, like preferences that you could choose to change if you wanted to you could also select a color uh, this will only select the um, layer color not the actual fill uh, I'll show you how to do a quick fill effect so if I click OK here it is transparent there's nothing on there if I want to fill it with black hold down make sure your foreground color is black and the background color is white alright so hold down option or alt on a PC and press delete that will fill it with black or if you want to easily switch between the foreground and the background color press X on your keyboard and that will allow you to quickly switch between the foreground and background color so now it's white and now if I hold down option and delete it will fill it with white again you could also just double click and change to whatever color you want hold on option and delete same thing so that's a really cool feature there and another one is by pressing command R that will bring up the rulers so if I press command R or control R on a PC that will bring up the rulers um, now I've been asked this question a lot and that's how to show up the guides if you press command uh, semicolon I think right view uh, show oh you have to have some guides first so let's go ahead and make a new guide so vertical position I'm gonna do 50% that is in the middle of our document there it is and if I want to hide it press command or control on a PC and do the semicolon or just colon I think I'm pretty sure it's a semicolon and that will uh, enable or disable it if you want to show the grid go to view show and then uh, uh, where is it grid so that is command and then the apostrophe so command or control on a PC and um, quotation marks so that is a little a quick little feature that you could do so that is awesome so those are the pretty much the shortcuts I have for you guys if you love these tutorials and you want to see more please 
um, check out my playlist. I have a lot of Photoshop tutorials where you can go through from the very beginning to now. Um, I think there's like 40 tutorials on there. I don't know, but I made a lot. And I hope you guys check them out. And I hope I will see you guys later. Comment down if you love these tutorials and want to give me some some suggestions or whatever you want. Ask me a few questions. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, guys.